Good morning and welcome to our service for Epiphany. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. From the rising, rising of, of the, the sun, sun to, to its setting, setting your, your name is proclaimed in all, all the world. world. The glory of the Lord be with you. The, the Lord, Lord bless you. you. Creator, Creator of, of the, the heavens, heavens, who led the Magi by a star to, to worship the Christ child. Guide and sustain us that we, we might find, find our journey's end, end 
in Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. To you be praise and glory forever. As gold in the furnace is tried and purified seven times in the fire, so purify our hearts and minds that we may be a royal priesthood acceptable in the service of our kingdom. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. To you be praise and glory forever. As our prayer rises up in your presence as incense, so may we be presented before you with penitent hearts and uplifted hands to offer ourselves in your priestly service. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, to you be praise and glory forever. As you give medicine to heal our sickness and the leaves of the tree of life for the healing of the nations, so anoint us with your healing power that we may be the first fruits of your new creation. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And we turn to confession. The grace of God has dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sanctified himself for us to purify a people as his own. Let us confess our sins. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make your face to shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make your ways be known on the earth, your saving power among the nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You, Lord, have made known your salvation and reveal your justice in the sight of the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and cleanse you from all sin, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Collect for Epiphany. O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory face to face through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Creator of the heavens, who led the Magi by a star to worship the Christ child, guide and sustain us that we may find our journey's end in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we prepare to explore God's word, let us pray together. May God guide each of us in the way of Christ, whatever our age or experience. May the love of God speak to us all. Our reading from the Old Testament is from Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick dark darkness the peoples, but the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together, and they come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried in their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you, the wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall come over you, and the young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense, 
and shall complain, proclaim the praise of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of Orient are, bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again, king forever ceasing, never over us all. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh. Prayer and praising, all men raising, worship him, God on high. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light.
the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at his rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the, the star that they, had been, that they had seen in its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you O, o Christ. Christ.
in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The celebration of the birth of our Saviour Jesus Christ is almost over and we now move into Epiphany, recalling the visit of the wise men which ends the 12th day of Christmas. Gone are the gifts of turtle doves, French hens or a partridge in a pear tree. Rather now we celebrate the more traditional gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Many legends have grown up around the story of these three wise men. One of which is that there were three kings. But we probably all know that the gospel account does not say that there were three of them, or five, or ten, or even thirty. The idea of three kings came from the three gifts that were given, one king for each gift. Some have suggested that there were actually four kings, but the fourth one's gift was a fruit cake, and so he was dropped from the story. Some have assigned names and personal descriptions to the kings. Caspar, young and beardless, with a ruddy complexion. Balthazar, a bit older, dark-skinned and a new beard. Melchior, old, grey hair and a long beard. But the truth is that we do not really know who they were. Were they really kings? Probably not. Matthew calls them wise men from the east. The Greek term is mahoi, from which we get the title magi. It is most probable that they were astrologers, which explains why they would have noted and then been so excited about finding this unusual star in the sky. As they would later say to Herod, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and we have come to worship him. You see, the idea that the heavenly signs marked the births and deaths of great leaders was widely accepted in, Eastly, in Eastern culture. Even today, there are countries which believe that when a person dies, a star falls from the sky as a sign that some have fallen, someone has fallen in death. What these men saw intrigued them it excited them enough to leave their homeland to follow this star. The Magi were probably from Babylon, and so it was going to be a very long journey to the town of Bethlehem. One scholar estimates that their trip must have taken them at least four months, not including the time to prepare, to prepare for their journey. And for these wise men, this was the most important journey they would ever make. Nobody nothing was going to stand between them and following the star. These Medi made a dramatic commitment of time to search for this new king too. The gift of time is one of the most precious things that we can give to each other and give to Jesus. And that is a wonderful message for us, all of us, from these wise men. Another thing that we learn from them is that these three or four, or however Mahoy they were, met God in the midst of their daily living. They were at their work when God gave them the sign. Often we think that God can only speak to us in church or in our time of prayer, but God is not limited to meeting us in a certain place or at a certain hour. God can and does speak to us anywhere and at any time. So the message they give us is to be constantly prepared, to be constantly alert for what God has prepared for us to do in this life. What we also learn is that we need to have a willingness, a willingness to take action. The wise men could have noted the appearance of the star in their charts and done nothing more. They could have indicated that this phenomenon probably heralded something very special and then got, gone back to their normal lives but no they were committed to God and they put feet to their faith and commenced their journey when God presents us with a new opportunity are we willing to get up and begin a journey of faith the story of the wise men helps us to see that there is something special 
something remarkable that awaits us at the end of the journey to which God has called us. One of the things that has intrigued me about this story is the incredible wrong turn these men took as they neared the end of their journey. Instead of following the star to Bethlehem, they stopped in Jerusalem to ask directions of Herod. In a way, the visit to Herod could easily be expected. After all, they were on a journey to welcome a new king of the Jews, and so presumably Herod's newborn son. And that is why the wise men question Herod's court. Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? And the response was, in Bethlehem in Judah, for this is what the prophet has written. Written, it was written, these wise men found their way when they looked at the Holy Gospels. It was written, these wise men found their way when they went to the scriptures. I wonder what God is calling us to do as his people, both individually and as a benefice or parish. It is not easy to find out, but we do not need to guess, because through attentiveness, willingness to give time to God, and expectation, we can be open to hearing and finding out his will for us. Some of the answers are found in the pages of the Bible and through his living word to us personally. We just need to listen. As for the wise men, the scriptures were clear and the Magi were back on course. They found Jesus in Bethlehem of Judea, laid before him their gifts and then worshipped him. There is a lesson for us all in the gifts that were given. In fact, it would appear that God himself had inspired their offerings. The gold presented to the infant king represented his royalty. Frankincense, an expensive resin that was burned in the temple as a symbol of prayer, spoke of his divinity. And myrrh, another expensive resin that was used in embalming, represents his death for us. These were gifts that were given with care and adoration of this newborn king. But as religious as their gifts were, they had a very practical value that the Magi may not have even realised. Because when the wise men had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you. For Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. How would Mary, Joseph and their baby survive in a foreign country? They were poor. They had no family, no immediate source of income. How would they have got through? Well, now they have gold, they have frankincense and they have myrrh, gifts of great value, a currency accepted throughout the known world. Just like the Magi, you and me need to be ready to meet God in the midst of our everyday activities. Then rise up and follow the star. Take on the mission that is especially given to us. Because what you and I believe should determine how we behave. We should be willing to put our commitment to our conviction and be willing to put our feet to our faith. Then rise up and follow the star get on with our mission. Where is the star leading you? What is it that God wants you to do? Be open to find out. Prepare your heart for action. Then rise up and follow. Your journey will be life-changing. Amen.
God rest you merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. In Bethlehem and Israel this blessed babe was born and laid within a manger upon this blessed morn. The witch his mother Mary did nothing taken scorn. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, the blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds, the tidings of the same, how that in Bethlehem was born, the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, oh, tidings of comfort and joy. This day is born a savior of a pure virgin bride To free all those who trust in him from Satan's power and might Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy Oh, tidings of comfort and joy Let us pray. Let us pray to the Father through Christ who is our light and life. Father, your Christ is acclaimed as the glory of Israel. Look in mercy on your church, sharing his light. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Father, your Christ in his temple brings judgment on the world. Look in mercy on the nations who long for his justice. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Father, your Christ, who was rich for our sakes, became poor. Look in mercy on the needy suffering with him. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Father, your Christ is the one who is faithful servant. Look in mercy on the departed, that they may see your salvation. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Father, your Christ is revealed as the one destined to be rejected. Look in mercy on us who now turn towards his passion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord God, who showed us the infant King, give us grace to put all our trust in your promises and the patience to wait for their fulfilment. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we say together the prayer which Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, which art, which art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God the Father, who led the wise men by the shining of a star, to find the Christ, the light from light, lead you also in your pilgrimage to find the Lord. Amen. Amen. May God, who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness, give us a place with the saints in light in the kingdom of his beloved Son. Amen. Amen. May the light of the glorious gospel of Christ shine in your hearts and fill your lives with his joy and peace. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those whom you love today and always. Amen. Amen.